this may become a common sight at work, at the shops, or public transport. Disinfecting robots. According to the World Health Organization, traditional cleaning methods using humans and cleaning solutions are only 60% effective. Across the world, new robot designs are quickly emerging in an attempt to make spaces safe again. This remote-controlled robot is equipped with a disinfecting vapor cannon. It can sanitize large areas inside and out and may help Britain get back to work after lockdown, according to its developers. It can be used in a, in a variant of, of applications from um, inside of buildings such as this, external shopping centres, uh, churches. It can be operated from 100 metres away. It, it could go inside of a building uh, and disinfect the inside of, of different rooms inside of a building while the operator sits in a car outside. Another method is using UV light to sanitise objects and spaces, like this robot that's being deployed in malls in Singapore. Instead of spraying chemicals, the sunburst UV disinfecting mobile robot relies on its ultraviolet sea lamps to sterilise surfaces, hard-to-reach crevices and even the air. UV disinfecting robots are being put on the front lines elsewhere across the world as well, like this one in a Boston food warehouse or in Buenos Aires. Argentinian firm UV Robotics says while a human can't cover every millimetre of a space that needs sterilisation, the UV robot can and has a disinfection rate of more than 99%. Over in Asia, Hong Kong International Airport is deploying 12 cleaning robots, which emit ultraviolet rays, spray disinfectant and clean floors. The technology was first used on chartered flights that brought residents back to Hong Kong for lockdown. So this is, uh, we have been doing this in, in the last one or two months and prepare for the resumption of the passenger and flight. where We hope they will all come back here in June. And underground, Hong Kong subway is deploying an autonomous fleet of mini fridge-sized robots, spraying a vaporised hydrogen peroxide solution to disinfect trains and stations. The first thing we do is use 1 to 49 bit solutions to clean the environment. But there is still a tiny gap or a tiny area that is not easy to reach. Therefore, we keep on deep cleaning, keep on deep cleaning day in and day out. With this uh, hydrogen peroxide robot, we are able to have a 100% sure by spreading the, the hydrogen peroxide mix that we normally in the past, they use in the, in the hospital, in the, in the lab to have a deep disinfections.